What's going on everybody? It's Brian with Two Indians. We are in downtown Nashville and you know a couple weeks ago we were at Destination Daytona for our 28th wedding anniversary. Now you don't think that that's where I'm going to take my wife for our anniversary, do you? No. <laughs> No, we kind of made a decision to come to Nashville. We've never been here before for fun. We're both big music fans. We love country music. We love all kinds of music. And we've heard this is a great party town, so we thought we'd come check it out. Of course, we wanted to get out of the warm weather in, in Orlando, too. But we are going to have a blast this weekend. We want you guys to come have fun with us. So is there anything you want to see while we're in town? Open Blake Shelton's at his restaurant, Old Red. Lake Shelf? Huh? Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, no, I think that's um, about it. Just Lake Shelf? <laughs> I don't think Jason Momoa has a bar down here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go check out some places to eat, drink, listen to music, have fun. Any line dancing maybe? No. No? <laughs> Alright, let's go do it. Hey, it's Brian and Barbara with Two Indians. Two. So when you go to Nashville, you have to go to the Musicians Hall of Fame. There's some incredible stuff in here. Look at this. So we just finished walking through the Musicians Hall of Fame here in Nashville, Tennessee. And man, there is just some incredible stuff here to see all this uh, classic vintage recording gear that so many of the records that you and I all have listened to throughout our entire life were recorded on. I mean, not just country music, but uh, rock and roll, you know, going all the way back to Les Paul and seeing the display on Les Paul and how he basically invented the multi-track recording all the way to, uh, to digital recording of today. Um, seeing all the incredible history with the musicians that we all love, you know, everybody from Jerry Lee Lewis and uh, Tom Petty. You know, Tom Petty told an interesting story in one of the displays about how his song Free Fallen was actually rejected by MCA. And it was only after he was talking with the guys from the Traveling Wilburys band, then decided to produce the record and put it out, uh, which was, you know, really mind-boggling considering it's probably its most recognizable hit. They have a tremendous Jimi Hendrix exhibit here and um, you see everything from his history. It, you know, he used to play in bands here in Nashville and I think there was a quote that's attributed to him that basically says he learned how to play guitar in Nashville because when you come to Nashville it, the place is littered with some of the greatest guitar players ever and this goes even back into the 60s when he was here and um, it's where he learned to play and there's some incredible video of him uh, just playing guitar in a, on a local TV show called Night Train I think it was and uh, you know just seeing him all clean cut you know without the long hair and the beads and the, the tie-dyed shit and the, the, the crazy jackets and everything oh speaking of jackets let me tell you if you want to be a rock star you gotta have a wild jacket collection because they have, look at all these jackets that these guys wear it's unbelievable these guys have style they know how to dress um, not anything you want to wear in your daily life, but man, if you're a rock star, you can totally get away with it. So we totally recommend the Musicians Hall of Fame here in Nashville. If you love music, any kind of music, this place has it all. Fantastic. Right? You like it? Two thumbs up. <laughs> Two thumbs up. <laughs> Two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> I got it. So finishing up at the Musicians Hall of Fame, we hopped on the trolley and it took us around town. We stopped and saw all the sites. You know, there's the American Pickers store. They called it a museum, but it's really just a store for you to buy trinkets and stuff. But they did have some cool things in there. Um, there was a Jack Daniels store where we saw a really cool Jack Daniels Indian Scout that had been tricked out, although it was pretty dusty. And we got to go to the Nashville Farmer's Market. 
Uh, there were some great musicians just kind of touring around there. We had some of the best fresh donuts I've ever had. They were so good. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. Uh, but all in all, it was just a, a fun day of just relaxing and seeing the sights and uh, and enjoying each other and spending our time together on our 28th wedding So after a day of hopping around Nashville and seeing all the touristy stuff, it was time to get back down to Broadway and turn it up to 10. Well, maybe six and a half or so. I mean, you know, we are getting a little older. Taking video. I can do both. What do you think that Cool couple from Australia, and they're in Nashville, vacationing for a couple weeks. And that's yeah, they're cruising around the whole country. But anyway, they're awesome people. So uh, maybe we'll introduce you later. I gotta find out if they're weird or not first. <laughs> stairs when you're here that's for damn sure <laughs> so after all that partying and I mean we were out late it was almost 10 o'clock when we got back to the hotel room <laughs> I know it's not that late uh, but that gave us some time the next morning because we are typically early risers because we're working people um, we got up and we went out to a, a park it was really nice we got a chance just Barbara and I to walk around Look at the uh, look at nature. Just kind of enjoy the sights. It was a beautiful, cool morning. Uh, I got to fly the drone for a little bit, and it was just it was a nice time. And the sun come up with you by my side. I just wanna be your morning light. Fire burns down in the ember slow But I never get cold when it's you I hold After we had a nice peaceful morning, it was getting close to lunchtime. So there was one thing that we hadn't done and this was our last day in Nashville. So we figured that you gotta go try Nashville's hot chicken, right? That's what they're famous for. So we decided to go to Prince's Hot Chicken. And you know, there's two famous houses for hot chicken down there. There's Hattie B's and then there's Prince's. And Prince's was the first. So you know what, we decided we were gonna try Prince's Hot Chicken. And we took a lift down there and uh, it was really cool because when we got there, we realized that Prince's is just a little food truck, essentially. Um, but there was a pretty good line there. But the cool part was it was now co-located 
with the Yeehaw Brewery and the Old Smoky Distillery. Um, and it was an awesome place. Here, check out some of this video from down here. So we are at Old Smoky Moonshine and Yeehaw Brewery in Nashville and I have never been to a place like this. First of all, if you want to come here to watch a game, check this out. That's like a 200 inch screen. And they have another screen, it's an LED screen, just like that outside. It's amazing. They got uh, cornhole courts out there. And we've also ordered some chicken from Prince's Fried Chicken, or I'm sorry, Prince's Hot Chicken. And it's supposed to be the original of Nashville Hot Chicken. And some people say, at least the drivers that we've talked to today and yesterday have said that it's better than Hattie B's. That'll probably start an argument somewhere. But right now, we're just waiting for our food, having a beer, walking around the shop, looking for souvenirs. But man, look at, now see, I'm not a fan of this old smoky liquor. It is not moonshine. This is just some kind of alcohol that's got a bunch of sugar in it. I don't like it particularly, but I'm following Barbara around. That's why <laughs> I'm going around in circles here. But uh, I got a pretty nice gift shop. This building is fantastic. It's a really old building. It's a Quonset Hut style building. Out there. <laughs> I really don't think I can eat that anymore. Sears <laughs> had enough, or you could have gone that way. I think it's perfect for me. I could have gone that Prince's hot chicken, man, this is really good stuff. The medium is probably what you'd get for hot just about anywhere else in the country. They come in a three piece basket with whole wings and I ordered a fourth wing because I thought okay well you know it's not gonna be enough but they're huge and they're oh so good and they're super tender and they're uber spicy <laughs> and my lips are all dried out so like that hot sauce is like seeping into the cracks in my lips and just burning everything but it's really awesome. Does he need some birdies? Yeah chapped lips and hot wings on a cold day. <laughs> Try Burt's Bees, Burt's Bees pomegranate lip balm. Lip balm. <laughs> Cerveza from Yeehaw Brewery, 4th Street. Is it 4th Street or 6th Avenue? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, kids, so here's the deal. We have been walking and eating and drinking and partying for the last three days. And it is time for us to take a break, relax, put our feet up, and just chill for a couple hours because we got a flight to catch. But we wanted to thank you guys for joining us and coming along because it has been a hell of a lot of fun. And if you have never been to Nashville, you really ought to think about it because it is a ton of fun here. There is so much to do. There's so much to see. There's a lot of places to drink, a lot of places for good food. It's definitely got to be on the top of your list, uh, especially if you're a single woman, right? <laughs> it's supposedly, we're told, it is one of the safest places for women to come down and enjoy the nightlife. Right. Uh, that's why we've seen so many young ladies around everywhere. Parties. That's right. We want to get the bikes up here because there's a lot of great hills around here. Looks like a lot of terrific riding. We've had a lot of fun, right, baby? Yeah. Yep. So we will talk to you guys soon. Life is short. Take the damn adventure. That's right. Have fun. Get out there. Two Indians out. Two Indians out. All right. Bye.